Among all the views of the liver, the left liver is seen. So, if you do a longitudinal scan from the center, you can see the liver on the left, and you have to look carefully because there are various anatomical structures. Position the probe at 12 o'clock in the center, and do not scan right away. If you look at the probe at an angle, tilting the probe slightly in this direction, you will see a picture like this. Now, the shaded part here is the left hepatic lobe. And here you can see a very sharp part of the left liver lobe. This part, if the left lateral margin looks very sharp in this shape, it is normal. It should be less than 45 degrees here. If it looks bulging, the left lobe of the liver is considered to be enlarged, and this will be a situation seen in cirrhosis of the liver. You have to look closely here and the part that looks round next to the left lateral margin is the stomach antrum beneath the abdominal will indicated the arrow mark as you can see the stomach antrum is a very superficial place that appears just below the abdominal wall of the liver in order to see the stomach antrum a probe with a high frequency of 5 mhz or higher must be used The pancreas is located just behind the stomach. The splenic vein is visible under the pancreas. When you tilted the probe to the left earlier, what you see at that time is that the abdominal aorta flows in the direction of the arrow. At this time, in the abdominal aorta, it can be seen that the celiac artery branches out first, and the superior mesentery branches out as the celiac arteries branch out in this way, they divide again in this way. From here to here is the celiac artery. And this is common hepatic artery. It divides into the splenic artery. It is called a seagull sign because it is shaped like a seagull. You will see images through practice and posterior to the left hepatic lobe and anterior to the abdominal aorta. What appears to be long as it is now is the esophagogastric junction. That is, it corresponds to the esophagus gastric junction. Please take a good look at this anatomical section. And importantly, if the caudate lobe grows behind the left posterior lobe of the liver. When the caudate lobe is enlarged, it becomes visible here. Shown here is an enlarged caudate lobe. It shouldn't be visible when it's normal. longitudinal scan of the probe to the standard line. You will see a picture like the one you have now. Liver's left lateral margin is visible, abdominal aorta, celiac artery, SMA is also visible anatomy. Here is the stomach antrum. Where is the esophagogastric junction? And the part that looks like a slightly low-pitched echo right in front of here is the esophagogastric junction. It becomes the lower part of the esophagus. Here, you can see the lower part of the esophagus, and if you turn the probe a little more, there is an anatomical structure that can be seen more clearly. Way. The anatomical structure now shows the left liver lobe, the left lateral margin is sharp, and the abdominal aorta is visible. The superior mesenteric artery is visible. The celiac artery is visible, and the pancreas is observed on this upper side. Splenic veins were seen, and then not seen again. Here is the stomach antrum. The esophagogastric junction is right here. Abdominal aorta anterior, and in the posterior left lobe of the liver. On the outside, the hyperechoic band. On the inside, the echogenic elongated appearance. This will be the esophagogastric junction. 